Okay, good morning, dear students. Today we are going to discuss another chapter that is registered digit. And before this topic, we have discussed about what is research and what is the research, what is research processes and different elements of the researches in details. Now it is very much important to decide what is your research design will be. Research design means it is a road map and road map and uh, it can be uh, you can say it is blueprint of blueprint for conducting the marketing research project. It details the procedure necessary for obtaining the information needed to structure or solve marketing research problems. The research design is important. What is the basic concept behind research design? Research design the concept is whatever problem, uh, whatever problem we have decided, we have decided and we find it out. Problem may be for any particular organization, any particular company or industry. It may be government based. It may be state wise. It may be industry wise. It may be local area. And it may be rural area also. So whatever the problem uh, problem has been identified by the researcher, so that the researcher can uh, will major purpose of the research design is to decide what type of the research they will conduct, what approaches they will decide, which by which approach they will do their research, and by which particular uh, steps they will involve for the research. This is a major concept. We understand by this uh, research design is a framework or blueprint. It is a framework or blueprint for conducting the marketing research project. It details the procedures necessary for obtaining the information needed to structure or solve marketing research problem. We have discussed about this, uh, whatever the uh, next slide, we will go and we will discuss another part of this. The choice of research design, the choice of research design of the most appropriate design depends largely on the objectives of the research and how much it is known about the problem and research objectives. In your research, it is very much important uh, you have decided the problem and what you are going to uh, get output, what you are going to results, what you are going to solve the problem. Like in India, uh, Corona pandemic is going on and in future it may, it will be your uh, recession and depression will uh, give Indian economy a very drastic situation. But then what will be impact of this uh, uh, drastic situation? Uh, many researchers will do researches and they are doing researches. Uh, then they, do, they, they should want to know about what, what will be the impact of this uh, pandemic will be on uh, Indian economy or Indian people and Indian, it may be on labor class, in poor class, what will be result and uh, what type of the economy they should decide and what type the, what type of uh, uh, steps government should take to uh, resolve the problems. So such type of the research problem, we should know about concretely, we should know about the, what, is the, what is the objective of your problem. It is also very much important to, we should know about. And what approach you are going to do, this is the research design. If your, uh, your, your, your uh, problem you have decided, uh, uh, your problem is crystal clear and then you have decided what you want to get output, so then you will do your research in right direction, otherwise your, your direction will be wrong. So we should go for this process. Uh, now, more specifically, we will understand this concept. More specifically, we will understand this design. In, in fact, the research design is uh, the conceptual structure within which 
research is conducted. It constitute the blueprint for the collection, measurement, analysis of data. More explicitly, the research design decisions happen to be in respect of uh, these are the number of uh, points any researcher should ask to himself. Then he will get uh, uh, get right decision. So then, what is the study about first? Then, why is the study being made? Where will be study to be carried out? What type of the data is required? Where can the required data be found? What periods of time will the study include? What will be the sample design? What techniques of the data uh, collection is uh, be used? How will the data be analyzed? In what style will the report present it? These are all things we should consider. Any researcher should consider. Mainly, you should know about what is your topic, what is your problem, on which particular problem you are going to make your research. And then after you should know about what 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 number of uh, problems you are going to solve what number of objectives of your study what is the study uh, why is the study being made so here it is very much important you should know about why you are going to make your study what results you want to get putting my point what results you want to get, then you should go for next process. Why is the study is being made? Where will the study be carried out? Then we will go for the uh, where, 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 which particular area you are going to do your research. Area may be particular country, area may be particular state, area may be particular industry. Area may be particular district, area may be particular local area, uh, urban area, rural area. Like uh, in uh, particular time period after Diwali, in NCR region, a very much, much pollution is going on. Then this will be related with the particular regional based study. And this is the very much uh, contribution for the country also and particular region also. Uh, to solve such problem, if researcher will do such type of research, how to reduce the uh, uh, pollution in NCR region. So then such type of the uh, area you should know about. What type of the data is required? What type of data is required? Data means uh, it may it will be uh, your you will go for the survey and with questionnaires means primary data or secondary data from your particular uh, literatures. That's why we will make review of literatures also. So secondary data you can get from your number of ways uh, like your uh, particular um, journals, to study particular journals, to uh, get you know, magazines, internet, websites, then statistical diary, then many other ways you can get the secondary data, primary data if required, then you can go to get your data from a particular area where you want to get such required information for your research. So what type of data is required? Where can be required data be found? Which From which particular person, from which particular uh, persons, from which particular area from this particular region you will get the information and then we will approach for that. So, what period of time will be the study include? How much time is required for your study? It is also important to use know because your research should be a time bound period. Suppose you are doing any research to modification or your product is not successful in market then you are going to make your 
research for the product, which type of product modification you have required and suppose before your uh, study and results any other company has make studies, researches and launch their product, they will get the maximum benefit. So you should be know about what is the time bound period, within time bound, time bound period it should be complete. What will be simple design? Sampling is also, uh, you should know, uh, it is also a topic, a particular topic in your uh, this subject. We will discuss in detail also in later on. But you should know how you will decide the sample. Sample, uh, I know, you know, you know about sampling. Sampling means your it will be random side, random type or it may be, it will be a convenient type or judgmental type or quota type. It is two type, in, I'll teach you, uh, it is two type, it probable and non-probable. So which type of sampling you will decide, what design, what type of size, what type of sample unit you will take, it, everything we will discuss about detail in, when we will discuss about sampling chapter. What technique of data collection will be used? What technique of data collection will be used? Means by which particular technique? Means you will go for collection of data by interview, you will go for collection of data by observation, by case, case study, all these things way of the collection of the data and which technique and which particular method you are going to use for the collection of data. How will the data be analyzed? It is also important which uh, analysis process, what type of statistical tool you will go to use. Well, how you will go to what, for that purpose you should know about, what type of the uh, statistical the, the softwares are going on. A lot of softwares are there. So you should know about what type of, because big data, data mining, uh, data softwares are also mainly uh, big data means the data are coming in uh, huge volume uh, by uh, nowadays, uh, from recent researches, then a lot of languages and a lot of uh, uh, softwares are there which will help to uh, make analysis and uh, the very good researcher should aware about such type of the softwares also and this you should know about, I will discuss in detail uh, what type of the uh, data analysis techniques and the statistical tools uh, we can use for the analysis of data. In what style will the report be prepared? Then we will discuss about why, how we will this, uh, make the report of the study. So we will discuss in detail also. And now come on component of the research design. Define the information needed. Design the exploratory, descriptive, causal phases of the research. Specify the measurement and scaling the procedures. Then third one is construct the pre-test, a questionnaire interviewing from form or an appropriate form for data collection. Specify the sampling process and sampling size. Develop a plan of data analysis. So now, first, any researcher should know about what type of the uh, information he should have required. Mainly, what is its purpose of study and what you want to get, what you want to solve the problem of that particular uh, company, industry or any particular region, society, whatever you are going to make, your, make their research, so he should know about and then he should know about how to collect the right data right informations and what type of informations are required from where that information will collect what will be the ways we have discussed in the 
uh, previous slide, so then we should be clear about these things. Design the exploratory, descriptive, or causal phases of research specified in measurement and scaling procedure. We'll discuss about this in the next slide. Uh, next slides. Uh, there are three types of the research design. One is exploratory, descriptive, causal. Three type of research design and the three type of the research designs which will be more suitable for that particular research. So here design will be decided. Mainly why exploratory, uh, descriptive or causal phase of research design a researcher should specify the measurement and scaling procedures. Mainly in exploratory research design, design will be different. Descriptive research design, design will be different and causal design will be different. Then we should knowledge about what is exploratory, what is descriptive and causal in this phase of design. In exploratory design uh, or descriptive design, it is, it is, it is also you should know about ki any, any researcher should have option to get exploratory do their research in exploratory way, exploratory design or descriptive design or casual causal design. So then he should know about this. Things. He should know about and he can make their research on the uh, on uh, any two or any three uh, type of research design. He can make their research on that. Uh, research he can use three exploratory type of research design also or descriptive research design also and causal research design in same research if required. Concept then third point is construct and pretest a questionnaire, interviewing form or appropriate form for the data collection. Researchers should construct construct a questionnaire. Questionnaire for the interviewing, interviewing uh, with the appropriate form for the data collection. Which data is required? In first point, we have discussed about which data he has required. He should know about which particular. Okay, the questionnaire questionnaire should be prepared, construct before one test is required called pilot test. A test is required for this research. So then you should know about what is what type of the data you want to collect. You are getting such type of data, or you are not getting such type of data. You should pre-test also, okay, to get such type of information. You specify the sampling. Next point is you specify the sampling process and sample size. Then. A researcher should also know about the what type of the sampling uh, process is required in that particular study. Then he should go with uh, such type of the which which particular sampling is required. He should use that particular type of the research uh, sampling design. In sampling design, we should study about which type of the sampling you are going to use. If it is required random sampling, it is required convenient sampling, it is required quota sampling, it is required judgmental sampling, judgmental sampling. Which type of research sampling is most suitable for the, uh, that particular research? So then we should consider about such type of the researcher should select such type of the sampling process. And sample size also, it, what type, what size should be sampling? It is also required to study about the statistical tools and state and nature of research will decide the size of sample also. We will discuss in detail about such type of the sampling size. Developing a plan of data analysis. It is very much important. If your data has been collected and compiled and so it is before that you should plan about what type of uh, analysis you are going to make, what type of statistical tools you are going to make. According to that tools, 
you will collect the data. You will make compile the data. So then uh, every researcher should have a knowledge and every researcher should have detailed plan about uh, which type of the statistical tools they are going to use and which type of data is required for that purpose. So he should be plan in detail. He should think about these things. Then he should go for the uh, research uh, of the particular topic, collect the data. So this is all about your research design. You should be careful about in research design. Uh, there is uh, basically it is a roadmap. It is a framework. It is a blueprint of any particular research task. And in this particular uh, process design, we will design about what type of the uh, your studies and what result you want to get from which particular area you are going to make your study, what sampling you are going to use, what sampling uh, design you are going to use and what next uh, what your uh, method will be uh, data and what type of data you will use and what method will you will use for the data collection then what technique you will use for the data collection everything and after that data collection you will what type of analysis you are going to make all these things and how you will make your report all these things will make in detail about the research design in research design we discuss in detail this is all about your research design and you thank you very much and you should prepare about the note notes and i will send you slide of this topic also to you thank you very much yeah.